Hey guys, today we are going to talk about the top three decks in standard. These are the archetypes, so you do have a little bit of difference in how you can build the decks, but these are the decks that are dominating Friday Night Magic as well as upper level events. First of all, we have a very interesting deck called Aether Works, and there's different versions of the deck. I'm going to show you the version with my two favorite Planeswalkers, Chandra, Nahiri, both three of those, uh, four Servants of the Conduit, which is an interesting card, four Emicles, that's your big end. Uh, Issa Khan, Graph Widow is very, very good. A Singleton Sigarda, which you can have or cannot have. Uh, you're going to play eight Forests, two Mountains, and playing the four Aether Hubs. I'm really hoping Aether Hub is a promo. It's quite valuable as an uncommon two Evolving Wilds and three Game Trails. For your spells, you have Woodweaver's Puzzle Knot, you have Vessel, Harness Lightning, and then the name card, Aether Works Marvel, which is very, very good. Attune with the Aether and Traverse the Underworld. So the idea is to get out your Aether Works Marvel and hit something big, which is either Emiko, Emiko being hitting the Emiko is nice, but you can also hit a Servant of the Conduit, which will help you get there. And the deck is extremely good. The Planeswalkers are also a secondary mechanic in case they destroyed the Aether work or you need more copies of it. Nahiri can get out Emiko. Uh, once Emiko comes out, you can lose, but it's very difficult to lose. So one of the strongest decks revolves around Aether work marvels. The next deck we're going to talk about is Spirits. This typically takes the form of blue-white Spirits. Uh, as we're going to see here, you have one Elder Deep Fiend, three Reflector Mages, uh, and then the Spirits, Selfless One, Spirit, uh, Spell Queller, Fraben Inspector, four Archangels Avacyn. Very, very strong card and a perfect card in this deck. One Philia. And I actually play four of her. I play this deck and a deck very similar to it. And I'll go into the differences I personally have. Four Gideons, Gideon being one of the best planeswalkers. Six islands, ten planes, four port towns, four prairie streams. So it is exactly what you would expect the mana base to be. Smuggler's Copter. Smuggler's Copter is one of the best cards in this deck. Most of your cards will activate it. Uh, allowing you to draw, discard, and doing very well. And a playset of Status Snare, which is your solve all solution problem. That card is actually very valuable. I didn't play it as a four of, but now I can see that you do need four of copies of that. So a very strong deck. The last deck we're going to talk about is Green Black Delirium. Uh, Green Black Delirium means you got, you got to fill out your graveyard as fast as you can and then just go bonkers you have grim flayer uh, one of the best two drops in standard uh, mind rack demon sylvan advocate another amazing two drop tireless tracker to get you more cards uh, iskon iskana graph widow why not because it was a super strong card and for liliana the last hope a very strong planeswalker as you can see the theme is Planeswalkers. What deck will play them and what deck can play as many of them as possible? You have five, sor five forests, six swamps, four blooming Mars, three evolving wilds, and four hissing quagmires. Your spells, you have dead weight as removal, grafts of darkness, minus four, minus four for two black is pretty good, murder, and traverse the Underwall. A very strong deck. Again, your best card is your two drop, which is a two two. Trampler that can grow bigger with Delirium and also activates Delirium on its own. So a very strong card. Anyway, that is the top three decks in standard. Leave me a comment if you feel like I left out a deck. Bye guys.